Alright people, here's my next update. I decided to go with uh, the same finish on my sorry, let me see if I can get the camera a little better here. Uh, the same finish on my little trays as I did on my case. I've run into a little problem though and um, I'll tell you about it. Whenever I was making up my little trays uh, when I first was mocking them up with my painter's tape, they fit perfectly exactly as I wanted. I did not take into consideration that I would be adding a layer or two of paper because there's one layer here and then there's another layer on the corners which makes two, two layers per corner. So when you add all that up going across the shelf, these fit too snugly. I mean, they'll fit in there, but they're so tight you couldn't move your tray in and out if you wanted to. So, my solution for this is instead of throwing these away and doing a whole another deal like some people might do because they don't know how to fix it, I'm going to show you how to fix it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut um, a little bit off of one side on my tray and then reattach the side and I'll show you how to do that. First thing you do is you determine how much you want to take off and then you mark it on on your little tray. I'm going on the back side of my tray, not the front. I'm marking it on the sorry, marking it on the back side. Okay, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hold my, this is a steel ruler, and I'm going to hold my ruler on there. Let me pick it up so I can see my line. As you all know, I'm half blind. Okay, that's where I want to cut, and I'm going to take my X-Acto knife, and I'm just going to carefully go down the piece several passes because I don't want to put a, a ton of pressure you know I don't want to just bear down otherwise it'll crush my little tray but I just keep going back over it see I'm already through the center there and I need to get the ends takes a little bit of effort but well worth it not to have to create an entire new set of trays. Okay, now I'm through on the back side. Now I still need to cut these sides. So what I do is I set it up. I'll be setting it up facing me, but uh, I set it up like this, and then I go in with my knife like that and cut this part. So that's what I'm going to do next. Sorry if I'm off camera, but I have to get it close to me to do this part. Okay, there, this side is is through. So now I flip it around and do the same thing on the other side. Okay, now here's the piece that we just cut off. Let's see if I can get in camera here. We just cut that little section off of our box. Now what we need to do is remove get that out of the way. We need to remove uh, all this part that we cut off and keep the side. We want the side to reattach it to our box. So that's what I'm going to do next. I'll probably be off camera for this so I can see. I start by cutting off both both of the little ends. Okay. 
Okay, so there's my two little ends cut down, and all I do for this bottom piece is I just work it carefully and then break that that seal there, or whatever you want to call it, like that. And now I'll go in with my X-Acto knife and cut that off. Now I need to trim up one of my ends. I didn't get quite enough shaved off of it. Okay. Now I'll discard all my trash. And there's our piece side. And we're going to reattach this onto our little box and it goes inside these two and on top just like we did before. It goes in the same position as it did before just like that and we're going to do the same process with our paper uh, with one exception. Instead of doing a, a uh, paper hinge and then doing the corners we're going to do it all together. So what I do is I just kind of eyeball it. I take my paper hinge and I just make sure I have enough on the ends to wrap around the corner. See like that. Got plenty on the ends. Okay so now I fold it just like I did before. Okay, and now we hold it up to our box on the end that we're gonna going to be reattaching, and you kind of even it. You make sure there's kind of the same amount hanging off each side, and then what we're going to do is we're going to uh, clip straight down. I'll do it first because I have to have it up next to me, and then I'll show you. Okay, so what I've done, oh, this camera drives me nuts. Here's my box. There's the corner. I've cut, oh, let's see if I can get this oriented. There we go. I've cut down, just um, down this one side here. I'll take it off so you can see better. This is what I've done. I've just cut down half and that's going to fold around the corner. So see whenever you have it on your box, see if I can get it correctly on there. Okay, we'll have our piece on there of course, our, our side piece, but I'm just showing you now. You, you glue this on and then you're going to, and you're going to take this and fold it around the corner like that. Okay. And you'll do that on both ends and you'll end up with a piece that looks like this. This one's all glued in. I'm so sorry I can't find where I'm at on this on this uh, camera. But that's that's the repaired box and then all I do after that, after it dries, is I go back paint it black and then do the sprays and you won't even be able to tell it's it's fixed. But that's how you repair a mistake. Well, not a mistake, but I guess it would be a mistake. But Anyway, just thought I'd share that with you. I'll be back with the next update.